my hole. I cannot zoom in. I don't know why. And if you saw my <laughs> tripod and its billion pieces of tape, you would know that it will not move except to break. <laughs> I'm going to pull it down just a little. Okay, hopefully that will be better. Let's get some lining. Is that good? Okay, I'm going to show you guys this so you can see the mixed media book I'm working on. And for our class at, um, look at there, at Francis's retreat, we're going to do a mixed media um, heart and uh, like a Valentine's card. So you guys are welcome to give me feedback. I'm making this video for you all because you're my uh, bestest friends and bestest critics, and I trust you. Anybody else can eat dirt. <laughs> you know I love you. Okay, so here's my little book I made. Get some lining, get some lining. I'm learning all this lining. So I uh, actually tore up a really old book. Don't tell John. Oh my God, it'll kill me. So this is my little book. It's my first completed junk journal. It's just a tiny one. It's just for fun. You know, if you hate it, just, yeah, uh, don't tell me. Because I really love it. So I've got a little wooden heart right here that I um, antiqued a little bit. This paper on top, we're going to be doing this for our heart journal. Um, I'm sorry, our heart, our Valentine's card. I wove the paper, just tore strips, and then wove it and glued the very center, and then it's easy to work out from there. This is a little plastic frame that I got at a, um, uh, just someone had them on clearance at a vintage booth, and it's got the little brads with it. Here's a button, and here's my little fabric um, closure. So that's how my book closes. Now I'll go ahead and show you the back. Because this is actually, it's supposed to be like a little um, suitcase that I had on a um, sticker pack, you know, for travel in different states it had the names on there. So I just glued the ribbon under it, pulled it up through the little handle, and that's the closure. Okay, so this basic book page is a, a piece of cardstock with a um, just a regular piece of... Um, uh, paper it's not heavy weight or anything over it I did stitch it in the middle just to give it some security and then this is a just a piece of jute glued along the edge just to give it a little um binding look so at some point I'm gonna have to put this book down so let's do that now so here's my first page the first page is busy it's got a little place to journal right there it's got a little frame that says beautiful day and inside the very first page is a pocket and it has a little tab that says wonderful can you guys see that see i tried to zoom in but it wouldn't let me so here's this it comes right out all right oh, it got hung up on the bread so I've got this little piece of paper, and the whole point of this junk journal is to inspire creativity, to get you to journal, to get you to make things that um, just bring out your create, creative side. So I took this old paper. This is the part you can't tell Jonathan about. So I stamped on there and did a little bit of coloring. Here's my tab. I hold it, and the book opens. I'm sorry, the little paper opens. It opens again. And there's your place to journal. It's not sewn down. It's not glued down. You can take it out and journal on it. And then when you're done, you just close it up and it's private. You can still put, show people your book without showing them your private thoughts. So this tucks right back into the first page. Okay, so there's our first page with a little bit of journaling, a little washi tape, a little tiny frame with beautiful day. And see how it comes out? So the beautiful day just continues. <laughs> Something like that. So here's another little tab. This little butterfly is actually 3D. Y'all want to know how I did that? I bet you do. I don't 
don't know why I'm whispering. Well, there are people still asleep in the house, but, you know, I'm an early bird. I get up. I have to feed that baby up. So here's a pretty page from my old book. Um, this man is my brother. He's just had some pretty bold words with a, a nice font. Here's another page with a pretty little poem, some doily action, some little pearls. Here's another little page. That looks like my hair. Maybe it's glue. I don't know. Here's a pretty little page with a stamp that says happiness. And you could journal here. You could add your own picture. Here's another pretty little page and some ephemera. This is a little paper bag. And I actually printed this off of um, the Gothic, I think it's gothicfairy.com. She had lots of free printables, and this was gorgeous. So I printed it on vellum to use it, um, for whatever. I made a little bookmark here. You see, oh, I'll need to glue that down. It's got a little paper flower. It's got some pretty, uh, silk ribbon, and it's pretty sturdy. And I put some pretty green um, rhinestones on there. So that tucks back in. Okay, so that's that page. Then you turn the page here. More paper flowers. They're 3D and gorgeous. Some um, ephemera that looks like, you know, an old um, accounting ledger or something. I've got a little tab here that says love. Love up at the top. I stamp that. Here's a little journal page with a, a butterfly and some uh, foliage. Now, this page I like very much. Okay, see the buttons? Okay, well, this is a little pocket. And I made this little paper clip especially. Okay, so I've got some uh, jute and embroidery floss here. And you see my little envelope I made? Oh, my God, isn't that the cutest thing? But look, there's special mail. That's the mail that's in it. Is that not the cutest thing? Oh, my God. I can't be stopped. This may help me take over the world right here. This may do it. So, it just tucks right back into place. And you leave it right there for someone else to find. Please tell me y'all like this because um, my family's like, yeah, you made some more crap out of paper. Good for you. Um, okay, they're not all like that, but it, I kind of get that feeling. So here's a piece that I cut out and I antiqued around. I've got some more journal space here. And here's another 3D butterfly. Oh, it's pretty. Some journal space. Okay, and I put a piece of um, lace on here and made it look antique -y. Now here's a special little thing. Uh, some people call it a blooming cross. I just call it a... Um, yeah, I don't know yet. A blooming cross. <laughs> so I got a little piece of doily, an old button that still had the um, strings from the garment it came off of. So you open it up one time, and here's a little poem. A cheerful heart makes its own blue sky. And I antiqued around it with some blue. So you open it again. Now look there. And you open it again. And again, and there's a little prize inside. So you take this little piece of paper, and it's a place to journal. And it's a compass. It's perfect. It's a compass. I just love it. Compasses are my thing. I really like those. So I just tuck it all back in, and I leave it like that. All right. And it stays pretty much closed. All right. So here's a piece I took off of a Christmas card, and I took a piece of doily and embellished her little skirt to make it look more 3D. I put a doily behind it and some pearls, and this little orange thingy, I don't know where they came from, and I've had them a million years. I keep looking to see if I have work, <laughs> um, but I hadn't found them yet. So, here's a little thing I just put on there. It had a fork or something under it, which was ugly. So, I just embellished it and put um, beauty, a little sticker on there. Okay. So, as you can imagine, something happens here. So, here's a little piece that pulls out. And you could journal on there or leave it alone. 
This comes out of the pocket. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Slowly but surely. Oh my god. No. Stop calling me surely. <laughs> so, this little pocket says beauty. It's got lace and a little flower. But, I made something extra. Because I'm extra. This little notepad to keep notes on. So, each page. This one says sweet. This one says kind. This one says caring. And this one says gorgeous. Nope. Generous. But isn't generosity gorgeous? So I made that. And it tucks right back into here. And I like the little edges. How they're not, you know, perfect. I didn't even cut them. I just tore them. So this tucks back into here. And... This tucks back into here, and I made a little finger punch there to be able to pull it easily. I know this is a little jam-packed, but it was my first completed one, so, you know, I kind of went overboard. Okay, so that stays right there, and you turn the page. Now, on this page, I have a, a stamp. It's just a sticker, but it may look like a stamp. And I glued down a little piece of lace with a ribbon running through it. I made this pretty little paper clip. So this is just embroidery floss that I took a toothbrush and ran through to make it look fluffy. And we're going to make some of these for our Valentine's card too. And I glued down the um, paper clip onto this little tiny bookmark. And I put another sticker on top. So... I'm keeping that right here. Oh, my computer's asleep. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, I just have to wake it back up. Oh my goodness. That's what I get for crafting on the clock, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put this right back where I got it. There it goes. Right there. Okay, so then we got another piece of our very old vintage paper with a little tab that says hope. And that's the last page. I actually tore apart a book that was my grandmother's, one of those ideals magazines, but it's just been sitting in a drawer, and now look how lovely it is, and that's one of my favorite scenes. I remember her having this book. Anyway, I left the ribbons where they come off just a little, and then you have the back, and I told y'all all about the back. So, I just close it shut, because I cut a little slit in that ribbon right there for it to accommodate the button some other ideas i've been working on this morning this isn't finished and it's kind of a menagerie not sure i'm loving it yet but this is where you glue two envelopes together and maybe y'all have done this a thousand times before but i haven't so there's that i put a little poem and here's a place for uh, journal paper or treasures I made a little tab on this so you can pull it out. And another tab right here on a bookmark that I made. This is just a little baggie with a little tab on it and some antiquing and a word. And this is just a bookmark I made with some lace and ribbon and a button. And this was actually where a stamp was, but it left behind an embossing. So I cut it out because I like negative as well as positive. Well, that's pretty much how my life has been. Yeah, so we'll just stick this back in here. And here's another one of my little 3D butterflies. And you just fold it. 
and fold it and it's closed. Like I said, this isn't finished. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe some lace or something. I've got another 3D, a uh, three pocket fold here. These, these two both will go in a larger journal. Um, everything I did here was just petite, you know, and small. But I just wanted to share that with my friends. And I love you and I hope you have a wonderful Monday.